Welcome to Red Books Health Trivia Edition. Here is the part 2 of our video about some famous and infamous health myths that we believed in to be true, for decades or even for centuries. Let us help you again separate fact from fiction, and let us discuss some of the health myths. And let us explain to you why those myths are not true. Myth number 11, eating food within 5 seconds of dropping it on the floor is safe. You probably heard of, the 5 second rule wherein it states that if you drop a piece of food on the floor, and pick it up within 5 seconds it is still safe to eat. But have you ever wonder if the 5 second rule is based on any scientific evidence? Unfortunately, sorry to burst your bubble, the 5 second rule is not a real thing. It is not true at all. Because bacteria and other germs like parasites can contaminate your favorite food even within milliseconds. Some tests show that foods attract bacteria and germs, there is no safe duration or time, even if it is less than 5 seconds. Instead, safety depends on how clean or dirty the surface you drop the food on is. Whether you eat the food you drop or not, that is up to you. But if the people that walk on that floor are also walking around with dirty shoes, we would not recommend it. Myth number 12, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The proverbial advice to eat an apple a day first appeared in print in 1866. Yes, apples are packed with vitamin C and fiber. Both of which are important to long-term health, but they are not all you need. Because please remember that if certain viruses or bacteria get into your system, an apple will unfortunately do nothing to protect you. Disappointingly, one study even concludes that, evidence does not support that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. However, the small fraction of adults who eat an apple a day, do appear to use fewer prescription medications. So there is nothing wrong eating an apple a day because it is still healthy. But definitely, an apple a day does not keep the doctor away. Myth number 13. Milk does our body good. This is an incredibly successful bit of advertising that has wormed its way into our brains and policies. And because of this, it makes milk seem so magical. The consumption of milk and dairy products has become a somewhat controversial topic in the last few decades. The US Department of Agriculture even tells us that adults should drink 3 cups of milk a day. Because it is rich mostly with calcium and vitamin D. However, multiple studies show that there is not an actual association, between drinking more milk or even taking calcium and vitamin D with having fewer bone fractures. And please remember, milk is a good source of both protein and calcium but, it is not the only source. Non-milk sources contain similar calcium amounts, with even a lot fewer calories. Other high-quality sources of calcium include beans, canned salmon, almonds, kale, and dried figs. However, if you really like to drink milk, we would not dissuade you. Myth number 14, organic food is pesticide-free and more nutritious. Organic food is not really free of pesticides and it is not necessarily better for you. Farmers who grow organic produced vegetables and fruits are actually permitted to use chemicals that are naturally derived. But in some cases, it is actually worse for the environment than their synthetic counterparts. Also, pesticide levels on both organic and non-organic foods are so low. That they are not of concern for consumption, according to the USDA. Also, according to a review of 98,727 potentially relevant studies, eating organic food does not come with any additional nutritional benefits over non-organic food. Interesting. Myth number 15, natural sugar like honey is better than processed sugar. A food made with honey instead of high fructose corn syrup is not necessarily better for you. Because according to researchers, sugar in natural products, like fruit, and synthetic products, like candy, is the same. Scientists would be surprised to hear about the, clear superiority, of honey. Since there is a near unanimous consensus that the biological effect of high fructose corn syrup are essentially the same as those of honey. Do you know what the problem is? That some food items like candies and other related products, typically contain more sugar per serving. So you should be watching out their content and not about the kind of sugar that is used. Myth number 16, coffee can stunt your growth. The truth is most researchers did not find any correlation between caffeine consumption and bone growth in kids. In adults, researchers have seen that increased caffeine consumption can very slightly limit calcium absorption. But the impact is so small, that a tablespoon of milk, will more than adequately offset the effects of a cup of coffee. 
Advertising against coffee seems to be largely responsible for this myth. It started when cereal manufacturers in 1895 was trying to market a morning beverage called, Postum. Postum is a powdered roasted grain beverage, that according to them is a natural alternative to coffee. So they ran several ads on the, evils, of the favorite hot coffee beverage. And the ad was slightly successful. According to the ads, coffee should never be served to children. Because it stuns their growth. However, coffee does not in any way stun a person's growth. Because how tall you are is mostly depends on your genes. However, good nutrition is also important to reach your maximum height potential. So eat healthy. Myth number 17, sugar is as addictive as heroin. Addiction is a strong word to be used against sugar. In the 2009 book, Fat Chance. It claims that sugar stimulates the brain's reward system the same way that tobacco, alcohol, cocaine, and even heroin does. And therefore, according to the book, sugar must be equally addictive. The book cites studies that show parts of our brain that light up from a sugary reward. And those parts are the same parts, that get excited for many types of enjoyable activities like drinking. However, the problem is. These types of scientific studies of the brain has no clear-cut sign of addiction. Until now, scientists do not know what addiction in the brain looks like. Also, another study by Edinburgh University scientists found no strong evidence. When it comes to people being addicted to the chemical substances in certain foods. Myth number 19, sugar and chocolates are aphrodisiacs. In the mid-19th century, before sugar purportedly caused diabetes or hyperactivity. Sugar was thought to ignite sexual desire in women, men, and, more controversially, the poor. One vintage advertisement even claimed that, candies, spices, cinnamon, cloves, peppermint, and all other strong essences, powerfully excited the genital organs and lead to the solitary vice. However, there is no biological evidence to support it. That chocolate or any other food or beverage works as an aphrodisiac. Although, a number of foods have been ascribed with aphrodisiac qualities. But they tend to have just a strong placebo effect. A placebo is anything that seems to be a, real, medical treatment, but is not. In other words, they get you thinking about aphrodisiac, and this puts aphrodisiac on your mind. So it is all about psychology. Myth number 19, sugar causes hyperactivity in children. The sugar hyperactivity myth is based on a single study from the mid-1974. In which, a doctor removed the sugar from one child's diet. And according to that one study, that child's behavior improved. However, since then, over a dozen larger studies have been conducted. But it all failed to find any evidence that supports this off-the-wall notion. Interestingly enough, some researchers have found out that real culprit of this myth. The real reason why this myth propagates is because of most parents. In one study, parents were asked to rate their child's hyperactivity after consuming a drink with sugar. Unknown to the parents, the drink was sugar-free. But surprisingly, the parents still rated their child as more hyperactive. Please remember that hyperactivity and behavior problems are very challenging to diagnose and treat. And sugar-free diets have nothing to do in the management of children with these conditions, according to scientists. Myth number 20, humans only have five senses. Sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch are just the basic senses. But there are more aside from these five. The sensing organs associated with each sense send information to the brain. This is to help us understand and perceive the world around us. But people also have other senses in addition to the basic five. Some scientists believe that there are nine senses, some say there are more. One example of other sense is called proprioception. It deals with how your brain understands where your body is in space. There are also more subtle senses that most people never really perceive. For example, there are neuron sensors that sense movement to control balance and the tilt of the head. There are also our sense that detect levels of oxygen in certain arteries of the bloodstream. Another is called nociception, or our sense of pain. So there you go. There are more human senses than the basic five. What can you say about the part two of our health myths list? Please leave your comments below. Please do not forget to subscribe. And hit the bell icon too. Please like and share as well. Thank you for watching Red Books channel. Good day.